Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new series that I'm going to start and that this is about a project series which will involve the Spring Boot and React. So there was a lot of demand, there was a lot of uh, comments in the previous few videos of which I published for the full stack Spring Boot and Angular Tech Stack. So people wanted to also know how to do these things using React. So we are going to uh, understand and we are going to implement a very simple project, not very simple, but it will involve some kind of uh, complexity also, but not so much. Okay. So we will implement all those things using Spring Boot and React. Now, to be honest, I know about the React but I'm more experienced on the Angular side. So I have also learned more about the React in the past few weeks so that I can make some kind of a content because the React gets updated every few months. So the last time I learned React, it was a bit different. Now it is also a bit different and the React framework like Next.js is also has changed a lot. So I had to go through a lot of the uh, means like learning process and to update myself for making a series like this so we will have a spring boot plus react project in this series and this will i will start with very simpler things so that you get to understand it and along the way we will try to add more and more things into it to understand more better okay so let's understand what we are going to what kind of project we are going to do okay so if you see my full stack project, we have done the movie API, right? We built a movie API simply where we were doing various thread operations and uh, authentication, authorization and forward password and all lot of things. But here scope will be increased with the once we get through the initial stages of the project. Okay. So what we are going to initially do or what I have planned for this series, let's go through it. So here is, I hope you can see, so Spring Boot plus React project. Now we are going to build another kind of API. This is a book API, okay? So here, the standard stuff we are going to do, we are going to implement CRUD operations. We are going to do API calls with JSON and file handling. We, we will do both uh, the multi-part request and all the stuffs that we have already done in our backend course as well as in the full stack project. We will also implement the authentication and authorization. So initially it, it will be a simpler form of authentication and authorization which we will, we will go through, but we will slowly move towards the JWT. Okay. Then we will also implement pagination, filter and search both on backend and frontend side. So that how the pagination is done, how the filtering of the data is done and how do we search the record. Okay, uh, the global search, how we implement on the on the data that is there for us. Okay, and there are some extra stuffs which right now I don't want to disclose because some of them are planned, but not. The, but there are many other stuffs that I am thinking to include. But I will see whether I have to include within this project or I should or we should have some other kind of project and there we should I should integrate into it. So I don't want to just commit for now but yeah there will be some kind of good extra stuffs to integrate into here and learn more about it which you will understand it okay so these are the things we are going to do in this full stack react react and spring boot project i hope uh, you will get a very better understanding of dealing with the spring boot and react project now the prerequisites i just wanted to mention so well, let's write the prerequisites so first thing is you should have a complete understanding of Java programming language. Okay. Second, you should know about the Spring Boot and you should have some experience or you should have some confidence in building the projects in the Spring Boot. If you don't have the, if you have learned Spring Boot and if you don't know how to build the complex projects in Spring Boot, you can check out this backend course here or you can check out this full stack course here. Okay. Both are equal. It's just up to you whether you just want to focus on backend or completely full stack in this full stack it will be angular on the front end here in backend we will just be dealing with the spring boot project okay so that's up to you third you should know 
types uh, sorry javascript and typescript both you should know so here in react we will be actually using ts okay we will not use js the reason behind is first of all industry standard again in most in majority of the enterprise projects where react is being used typescript is there not javascript and secondly the id suggestions don't come that better than using javascript so typescript helps in that respect and it reduces the error okay so you hopefully know about the javascript and typescript thing so just learn about learn either of them but you should be comfortable with typescript okay and fourth i would say there is no as prerequisite you should know some basics of git and docker we will be using both of them as well as sql so we will be using postgres okay so we will in docker basically we are going to use the docker compose files for running our postgres and git i will share the code with you and postgres sql this database we can use so you can use mysql also it's fine but it's up to you which kind of database or which kind of sql provider you want to use okay so this is the main thing that you should know and uh, you can just go through this uh, complete spring boot project here for revisiting all the concepts in case you don't know i will try to cover or i will try to explain all the things that will be that we will be requiring or will be helpful in building the apis in a spring boot okay and on react you should know basics there at least though i will go through it so i would say basics of react okay even if you see in angular if you have followed this series angular frontend series which was a frontend for this backend course so i have though i have asked that you should know angular basics but i have explained each and every step the logical part of the frontend i have explained now the ui part i cannot explain because ui we can just i mean just i can just copy paste from here and there so i will be doing the same okay so ui part i cannot develop because i am not a good at ui nor i am a ui engineer or a ui ux designer so on front end all the logic we will write on our own that is for sure and i will explain every kind of logic that we need to build but if you wish to build a very beautiful looking ui you can make some changes in the css related thing okay so that is all that you need to know in the prerequisites before you uh, jump into this spring boot plus react full stack project okay so now i'll see you in the next video with the starting of this project and we'll start building this uh, full stack project and we will learn alongside the complete back end to front end way to develop a project and the main objective is not to build a very lengthy or very complicated project the the main objective is to get you familiar with various concepts on how to or make you make you confident in building a full stack project using spring boot and react so that is the primary objective okay so i hope this project will be helpful for you if if you are a student or an intern or or just a fresher in now in some company okay so let's see you in the next video till then bye bye